So that's one method we could use. Another method we could use, and I won't go into this in detail, is you could use the management report. And we adjusted our management report here. And I can then go and edit the management report. And it's got a nice title page. It's got a table of contents. It's got a, a an intro page. And then it's got your reports. Now, these are the reports we did from month one but you can add more reports uh, down here by saying add new report. And I can say, I wanna say that we need number five report. And then I'm gonna add number six report, boom. And then I'm gonna edit the report, edit and get rid of the, get rid of the location of the report. So I'm just gonna delete everything before the report name. And so that looks good. And then I'll do the same for this one as well. Tom Bien, Tom Bien, Tom Bien, Tom Bien. And so there's that, okay. And then if I go down, we've got our, our closing report or name, and then I can save that. And let's, let's check it out. Uh, sit, we'll save and close it here and then I'm going to go into my report and preview it and so now it looks like this so you get this nice little pre-built management report pretty pretty nice although it's somewhat restricted so you, you can't do much more to the formatting that it has here but it's a nice way to get all the reports on one PDF file and and do it in a way that's pretty nice if you want to do any more customization than that then the other way you can do is export them to Excel